Hey guys, this is Daniel with Grim Grin Gaming, and today I'm going to be going over how to texture and create the UVs for a cube or a rectangle or uh, any sort of pla planar object in Maya. I'm going to show you how to create the UVs and then how to set them up so that it comes out pretty professionally if you're going to bring it over to Photoshop or GIMP. So let's get started. First things first, you got to be in Maya and go ahead and make sure you're in the Polygons tab. In the Polygons tab, go to Polygons and we're just going to make a cube. So once we have our cube, let's go ahead and turn on shading so that we can see it's uh, dark. And then let's go ahead and go over to our channel box, Polycube. Um, let's make it all fives. And that's just by clicking, holding down, dragging, highlighting fives. Um, and then, I don't know, just to make it a rectangle, 10 on the width. Um, so right now you can see we are looking at the front. And that is it for our object. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and start working on our UVs. So edit UVs, go ahead and hit delete UVs. Uh, go ahead and hit edit UV texture editor. And so now there are no UVs. Let's go real quick and show you. Um, control Z. So I undid the delete UVs. So now if I go into the UV texture editor, see, and we're in a rectangle. And these are not rectangular, so that's not going to work out great for us. So if we go and assign a material, you can download the material I'm going to use on our website, material attributes. Click the checker box next to color, file. Open up the file. Um, pictures, grid, open. Can't see anything because we got to turn on texture. Textures on. So with the current um, UVs that we have, if you look, they are. squares and those squares do not really fit up with this because it's a rectangle so you see they're stretched out over here perfectly square everything looks great all the numbers over here not so good so if you put a uh, circle here it would become oblong so just to show you a trick if you were to do it this way you can resize this and see that's what this thing is for so that you can figure out what's going on with this so if you notice I grabbed the outsides and that should skew this too so that's no good there's a much easier and quicker way to do this so let's go ahead and object mode click edit and like we did in the beginning before I uh, undid it we just delete the UVs so now no UVs can't see anything make sure we're back to front here and then Let's go ahead and start making our UVs. So click and we'll go face. What do I call it? Face, uh, create UVs. Go ahead and go planar mapping. Make sure you click this little options box. The reason that I put the W on, the move tool, is so that I can see what axis is pointing which way. So we want to project on the Z axis because you see the Z? is pointing toward the face that we are uh, projecting to our image so if you see I keep image width and height height rate ratio if I could speak and since we'll do that it's gonna project a, um, a rectangle so once we have our rectangle projected let's go ahead and do this move it I'm not quite sure why it's doing that uh, I didn't grab it right so Z Z Z Z 
face, select, create UVs, planar mapping, Z axis, project, all right, there we go. So now we see our face and it projected like this, Let's see, projected kind of sideways. So let's move this up and the boxes are all square, so that's good, but the numbers are facing this way, so we want them to, you know, face up and with the arrows going the right way. So we have these things here. We can rotate the selected UV uh, either this direction, clockwise, or this direction, counterclockwise. So let's do counterclockwise, counterclockwise, no good. And then we can always do this, and then we can do this. So these flip them over or over. So like this is right like this right now. Flip it like that. So now the red's over here. Flip it like that. The red's back over here. So now we have our things the way that we want them. Um, and then, yeah, just move this up. So this is the front. And then rotate a little bit. And then select face. And then this will be the top, the top's going out on the Y. So, project to the Y, project, UV, select, and then same problem that we had before. Um, let's see what works better. So if you do double on the uh, clockwise, and then just flip, that didn't work flip. Ah, so it was already good. So if you do double on the clockwise, it should be good. But we'll see with the next one. So we have this W. Move it up. And then the top will be up here. Now we're going to go to the back. Back face. Click. Create UVs. Planar mapping. Options. We already know it's the Z because we're working around it. Z. UV. Now let's see clockwise, clockwise, and then we're good. Yeah, so just double clockwise spin, and then we're good on our picture there. W to move it, and now we have this here. Now we're going to go to the bottom. Alright, click face, bottom, create UVs, planar mapping, Y axis, and then go ahead and hit project, and UV, highlight it, double clockwise, and we're good. Move it up. I'm going to put it right underneath because, I don't know, that's how I remember. Second one up is the front. And just move all of them up a little bit so they're kind of out of the way. Now we got to do the sides. So now we have the right side, face. Create UVs, planar mapping, project, and these are on the x-axis. You see the x-axis is pointing out. So, project. UV, yes, it's much bigger than the others, but we'll take care of that in a minute. And then it's going to go right here when we're ready. It's going to end up there. Now let's go for the left side. Uh, let's first double check. And check on this. So, this is already good. So, we're just going to leave that alone. So, face, face. Planar mapping. We already know that it's set to the X. So, we can just go planar mapping. UV, W. Move it up, and then I'm spacing these out far because we're going to resize them together. So, highlight that, hold down shift, highlight this. Now they're both highlighted, hit R. Make sure that you're grabbing the middle, and then we can resize them to roughly where we think they're about the right size. doesn't need to be perfect obviously there's nothing scientific about what I just did so let's see if we click right here 
on the object while we're in uh, UV mode here you can see that this corner is this corner is this corner this is where all the corners are meeting which is good because if you think about it when this folds in so this this part will fold in so it should meet there well sorry needs to select on the object so this will fold in and it'll meet there and then this piece here will meet down here and so like I'm gonna click here and that's gonna highlight these Say, and then I'm going to click here, it'll highlight these, and then the last one is going to highlight these. So, see, all good, all good, all good. See, that's the bottom one. Um, and that is this folding in so that it is like a square or whatever. So, now if you look at the edges, you can see that the edges also all match up and so if you're like me you're kinda wondering well why is this all like apart do I have to move each of these pieces like as close to next to each other as possible and no you don't which is great because that's how I used to do it so you want to select these two edges by just selecting the one edge so select the edge of where you kinda want it to be here so if you hit this which is move and sew the selected edges it's awesome boom how cool is that right move and sew the selected edges boom 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 so then you go from having what is essentially just like you know crappily placed pieces to a nicely sewn um, UV sheet you can go ahead and select UV, W to move it. Now we got to get this whole thing into this freaking thing, right? So we need to make sure we're on the yellow one. And then we want to resize this. And then you just got to make sure that it is um, all within this cube, the one that has the picture in it. Not sure what these other cubes are for, but they do exist, don't know what they're for. Um, so yeah, just inside of here. Don't let anything be hanging out over there. And that's pretty much it. That's all. So once you're done with that, all you would do is go polygons, and then you would go UV snapshot, and then you would just browse and save it wherever you'd like. Make sure you're saving it as a PNG and not like a Maya if file or whatever, IFF. Um, the size of it, depending on um, the definition or whatever that you need for your object, 1024 by 1024 should be plenty by far. Um, color value is what the lines will appear. So the lines will be white inside of Photoshop. I'm not going to export it because I'm not going to texture it. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So once you uh, were done, all you would do is export this uh, as the as the PNG. Open it up in Photoshop, add your images, and then that's it. You'd bring it back in, just like we did the uh, this. I'm going to do it real quick because now I'm not going to do it. So yeah, that's it. Um, just to show you guys a couple things real quick, if I go back over here, and I just I'm just hitting Control Z because I want to split them up again. If I'm in UV mode, and if you need to figure out how to line these things up, everything lined up perfectly, but say like that they didn't, and I wanted this to get up there, I would just do this like we did with the other things, and flip this on this axis. I would flip this with this one. So now. this one that I wanted to be up there would be up there of course that's the wrong one but that's how you would start to put this piece this together if they were not uh, already situated correctly so since they are we don't have to worry about that and then again just to go over again when you're done you just go polygon UV snapshot set it up browse put it where you want bring it to Photoshop color all these cubes whatever you want and then once you're done 
you go ahead and click on your object and go ahead and assign a new material um, if you wanted it to be shiny falling is a shiny one if this doesn't pop up sometimes it doesn't and just go material attributes and then you just click here file find your uh, your whatever your PNG and then go ahead and bring it in and that's it so that is all thanks so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will try to come out with uh, some more videos as I can thanks for watching have a great day bye